sponsored, bitches. We got some free wine today from 16 Tons. We love them. We do love them. 16 Tons donated this lovely bottle of Radio Boca Tempranillo uh, 2011, which we're drinking today. Get that close so you can see it. Oops. Somebody's pouring heavy today. It's kind of a, a little bit blackberry. It is a little dry. I dig it. We'll bring some more throughout the episode and let you know for sure what we think by the end. So far, so good. It does live in that magical $8 to $12 price range, which we prefer. Classy and cheap. We are not drinking before noon. People at home, don't drink before noon. Leo's sound changes considerably from one record to the next, depending on, you know, the mood that he's in and the influences that are happening at the moment. Television Kids itself, I think, uh, kind of feels like a little bit Spoon, a little bit Phantom Planet, and maybe a little bit of like a less clinically depressed Ryan Adams. Lower in the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all I obviously kind of have a soft spot for the illusionists and, and what they do. Because their names are the latter notes. Obviously this review is tainted. <laughs> the record is kind of about like the grind and the strain of uh, working a shitty day job to afford life and to afford the things you want to do. Walking away, saying fuck it, following your dreams, uh, only you know to inevitably struggle like crazy. The day that I sat down with the record, it was almost exactly what I needed to hear, so I'm a little bit biased uh, in its favor. Hi Ho Silver O, played here recently at Wandering Goat. I missed it. I've been invited from all sides of, uh, to, to this show. I've been hearing about these guys a lot. You should be aware of them. Hi Ho Silver O from Los Angeles. I don't want to say uh, cut and dry, just run of the mill indie rock, indie pop. It's more of an overall journey than a bunch of singles. But it's definitely hook laden. It's not overplayed or overstated. I dare you to listen to the song My Confessor and not be humming that fucking opening for days afterwards. For some reason, it just replays in my head like crazy. I'm a huge Cigarose fan. <laughs> Yonsi, frontman for Sigaros, and his partner in, Ri in Rice Boy Sleeps, who I believe is also his boyfriend, have a series. We watched them make a raw strawberry pie with a bunny. Not in the pie, it was just there. No, it was in, it was in the pie. Well, it was in the bowl for a second. Bunnies are clean. They're, no they're notoriously clean. Yeah. Did I know that? Mm -hmm. You just eat off of a bunny. Raw strawberry pie, it looked, it looked delicious. I'm fucking excited about this band. Stumbled across them on accident, just like cruising on the internet. Tropical indie pop stuff. I would say like if Vampire Weekend were interesting, uh, and more concerned with making music that you wanted to listen to for more than two minutes at a time. A little bit of psychedelic. Almost in the same vein as Paul Simon's Graceland, kind of melding world beat with more traditional pop. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good about it. I would definitely drink it again. Yeah. On the crazy good scale of, let's say, Walter Matthau to Gary Busey, how crazy good would you rate this? I would rate this a weak ton fruit. That's good. That's, that's solid. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a firm Michael Richards. All right. I don't think we have to quantify that for you. I think you understand it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks again to 16 tons for the bottle. Thanks again to Leo London and the Illusionists for the free records. Hi Ho Silvero, I hope you guys come back soon. I'd like to see you. And way yes, make your way to the West Coast. Make your way yes. Way yes, West. West yes. Way, way West yes. We can do this later in the day next time. Are you kidding? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Mike Morley. Hi. You're not on, on screen, but you're on the new Fatty's video blog.